Hello Scorpio and how are you today? Welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma with a G and I am absolutely delighted as always to have you here for your annular solar eclipse new moon in Capricorn reading. This annular solar eclipse in Capricorn will land on the 26th of December 2019. Um, we're going to be tapping into the energies of this eclipse today. It will be visible across Saudi Arabia, India, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and parts of Australia. Um, an annular solar eclipse is when the moon covers the sun's center, leaving a visible outer edge known as a ring of fire or an annulus. Um, <clears throat> so I sat down and I considered the energies that we would be looking at here and it became very apparent that we're dealing Scorpio with what is hidden and what I mean by that is this eclipse um, kind of deals with what is hidden in the sense that it will be during a new moon for a start and this is of course when the moon is at its darkest and its most hidden um, with it being an eclipse of course the shadow is going to be hiding the sun and at least in the northern hemisphere this is going to occur only a few short days <clears throat> excuse me after the winter solstice so this is kind of like the heart of the dark phase of the wheel of the year so what i decided we were going to be doing today is tapping into the energy of what is hidden to unveil and bring into the light so i will be looking at your person today scorpio um, we're going to be taking a look at the overall energy of your person. Then we're going to be taking a look at how they really feel about you. Um, and again, because this is energy of what's hidden, it might perhaps not necessarily be something that you're fully aware of. We're going to look at what they wish they could express to you or say to you <clears throat> um, that they have not. Um, then we'll be taking a look at what hidden truths this solar eclipse will reveal, what needs to be released or forgiven, and we'll close out the reading with what is the energy of their intentions moving forward. Um, so we've got a lot to get into today. This will be the last set of reads for this year. I will be back in January or, or maybe just you know a couple of days prior to the beginning of January with the January energies um, we're well into Capricorn season now and what I've found in the readings that I've done so far so far your number five Scorpio um, we're very much tapping into this Capricorn energy um, lots of Pentacles cards coming up so we'll see if that theme continues for you this animal familiars deck here will be our clarifying deck <clears throat> let me just get these cards laid out here and we'll get right into this okay here we go so <clears throat> how your person really feels about you and we have the hierophant um very strong card no sorry this is the overall energy of your person apologies um this second card here is how they feel about you we're just getting a general overall feel for your person right now scorpio and your person is um taurus in venus um fixed earth that's not necessarily to say that your person scorpio is a taurus i always say you know let's not get distracted by the signs but let's certainly use the, the energy of the signs that are attributed to the cards to really tap into the energy. And Taurus is patient, responsible, reliable, you know, that very grounded, fixed earth energy. Um, the Hierophant is an incredibly spiritual card. Um, this is traditional values and beliefs. This is... It's also the, the energy of the Trinity, and it's very much depicted the, the Trinity in this card, is that we have these three stages of enlightenment here. Um, it, the artwork on this um, Tarot Apocalypse deck is, is absolutely spectacular. And what we have in this particular card, um, it's depicted as the, the Buddhist guide of the Dalai Lama. 
this is a symbol of unification of the state of Tibet. Um, there's a lot of symbolisms going on here. We have the lotus flower, which represents the most exalted state of man. Um, again, I spoke about the stages of growth, the stages on the path to enlightenment represented here. We've got the Buddhist chimes or the bells or the symbol symbols here, which are traditionally made from bronze alloy to create harmonic overtones. And this focuses the energy into the, the present moment. Um, what else do we have? Oh, the, the orange robes symbolize simplicity and detachment from materialism. So as we can see, the, you know, the symbolism here is incredibly spiritual. It's to do with beliefs and traditions and values, but let's get a clarifier to see. Okay, so we've I, I spoke about the pentacles. Here they are again. We, we've had a lot of that grounded earth energy. So we have two sort of earthly energies here. The ten of pentacles, it's Mercury in Virgo. It talks about um, <clears throat> accomplishments security family um like the nice home you know it's the ten of cups is the the completion of the the love and the relationship whereas the ten of pentacles here it, it's the completion of that secure nice family home um so we have two cards here of security how can we tie these in together traditional values that seems to be the overall energy is you know combining these cards very a very traditional are you dealing with somebody scorpio that is quite traditional that does have very traditional beliefs and values when it comes to the home and the family and how that should work um as we pull more cards you know this overall energy will be drawn in so we'll start pulling all of this together. We'll take a look here now at how your person feels about you and see where this fits in. Okay, so this is the Five of Cups. Um, it's Mars in Scorpio. This is, I'm, I do try and, you know, show these cards to you as best as I can. They don't always necessarily pick up on camera as, as much as I would like. This is a tough card in general, but the artwork on this card is, it's so painful. It's so painful. This is turning your back. This is regret or self-pity, disappointment. And the need for an apology. Um, you know, we always talk in tarot how these three cups have been spilled here. But what the lady here who is absolutely distraught over the spilling of the cups is not seeing is, is the two upright cups behind here, which many readers interpret as represented by the two of cups. So it's, it's like ignoring a love some people see it as crying over spilt milk, but I think that's a little dismissive. It is a painful card. Um, let's get a clarifier to see, you know, how this fits in. So the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Jupiter, Sagittarius, um, mutable fire. The Wheel of Fortune is its experience. And by all accounts, this would appear to be a rather painful experience it's cycles it's it's you know it's not necessarily good fortune or bad fortune because the wheel keeps turning you know sometimes things are up and sometimes things are down so let's put this into the context of this is your how your person feels about you right now they are regretful they are disappointed somebody perhaps needs to apologize for something in this situation but your person is also in this energy of it's it's like okay what i'm getting is is like it just keeps going around and around and around and around you know this wheel of fortune energy and 
it feels that your person is starting to observe what they are seeing as um, a toxic cycle, a negative cycle that that you two have got yourself into of somebody behaving badly, cups being spilt, an apology being required. Sometimes it, the energies of you two, your connection is up and you're both feeling good. And then sometimes the energies are down, but overall, again, there is an apology here and it's very difficult to assess whom your person feels needs to apologize, whether they feel that they deserve an apology from you, Scorpio, or if they feel that they should come to you with an apology. Um, it's, it's, it's regret and disappointment. Did you turn your back on them? And they are hoping this wheel of fortune will turn again. We have a lot we have turning turning away and turning back towards turning away and turning back towards a lot of kind of in and out back and forth it's a cycle it's a negative cycle of regret and disappointment that, that we're, we're in here Scorpio you know don't shoot the messenger this is this is what I'm seeing um, and the overall and this is to do with the overall energy being a very traditional family dynamic Again, I always say this, Scorpio, this is your story. And it, often I, I read the energies of the cards, and but of course it's not my story. So I don't necessarily fully understand what the energies mean or represent. And often I find in the comments section, people will explain how and where this does resonate and fit for them. So if you do feel comfortable enough to share, I really would appreciate that in the comments. Um, but let's take a look next at what they wish they could tell you or express to you okay this is the fool so obviously um a new journey you know it, this is the beginning the fool here in this deck is represented by the sufi dance um, um of sufism which is a branch a mystical branch of islam this dance, you know, they, they whirl, they whirl around for significant periods of time in, and it's a form of active meditation. So the Fool card in general, it's um, an Aquarius air card in the fact that the Fool is related to the planet Uranus. It is a leap of faith. It is a new journey, but it's very much that trusting, you know, traditionally the Fool would be taking that step off the cliff face. And, and pair this with the energies that we have in this particular depiction here. It's about forgetting what you think you know. It's about abandoning ego. It's about surrender, letting go. Um, so we have, your person is perceiving, I'm not saying you are necessarily in a negative or toxic cycle, but this is your person's perception and they're letting go so this you know th this could be good let's get a clarifier six of swords okay yeah this is moving away um the six of swords is mercury in aquarius so this you know we have two aquarian energy cards here together um it's change and transition it's releasing baggage so you know two energies of releasing two energies of taking a journey um the six of swords can be almost an escape um traditionally it would be the boat with with the woman and the the oarsman we would have the the rough waters and the calmer waters so you know one of the phrases that readers trot out with the six of swords is the moving to calmer waters but it is releasing baggage because in the boat that you know they don't have luggage they don't have bags the only thing that is being taken is the swords on the boat and swords are thoughts so this is very much looking at things differently and releasing letting go and releasing 
And this is what your person wants to tell you. They want to express to you their desire to approach all of this completely differently. Um, like I said, if they're perceiving this negative cycle that you've got yourself into within this connection, they want to express to you, you know, it is a leap of faith, but it's also moving away. You know, maybe for now, this is a temporary break. Maybe it's a permanent break, who knows? Um, but this is moving away from this energy. However, that manifests, whether that be moving away from you physically and the relationship and the connection or proposing a way to break this cycle, a new way, something that, you know, a releasing of the cycle, um, a letting go and surrendering to whatever again your story please do let me know how this resonates you know your person is is in a very spiritual kind of soul searchy kind of energy with the hierophant whatever's gone on that's caused them to feel this way about you has really got them looking at things differently okay so this is what is this is a hidden truth that will be revealed during the solar eclipse. Now this can be, you know, not necessarily on the exact same day, of course, but just over this period of time. So let's take a look. And we have the Princess of Swords. Um, the Swords card in this deck represented by the Norse mythology of Northern Europe. And the Princess of Swords, this would be the page. Um, I do enjoy decks that equally share female and male attributes to the court cards um, whereas traditionally the pages are male so we have three males and only one female being the queen so th this feels to, to give a feminine attribute to a page for me it feels it just feels fairer more balanced um so this would be the page of swords this is saya the goddess of knowledge um in ancient norse mythology saya it she's like a student of the universe um, and she embodies this keen observational energy that we see in the traditional page of swords um, the curiosity the communication the thirst for knowledge and the gathering of information um, her name actually means seeress or omniscience um, but it is a page energy but this is finding something out this is um often people see the page of swords as the internet spire or stalker you know that would be of course the modern interpretation of this card in traditional tarot people nowadays you know when they seek out information of course the go-to is the internet now so this could be finding out something about your person on social media And I'm, and I've just, I've just absolutely being pulled, and this is tough. And again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm being pulled to suggest that this moving away, this leaving energy, is something that you might find out in in a less than direct way. That this, this might not be them coming to you and speaking to you. This. And telling you that they they need a break or, or or whatever whatever this is that instead of them coming to you with direct communication this might be you discovering this information um i'm not seeing very much communication i'm not seeing much togetherness i don't think you two are in communication or talking or or if you are it's it's not of any depth or substance um, there's not very much togetherness here at all. Let's take a clarifier. And you've got the Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah. So, this is communication. But this is communication that you have unearthed yourself. This is not necessarily somebody, as I said, coming to you and talking to you. you this is you finding information. The, the Knight of Swords 
is that fast thinking pursuit, that diving in regardless. Okay, what I'm seeing, Scorpio, is, and this particular placement is, of course, the hidden truths that the solar eclipse will reveal. This is you finding out something <clears throat> upsetting, perhaps on social media, or this could be somebody else coming to you and telling you, but this is you actively finding out some information and then acting rather rashly as a result so you know th this could be a bit of a heads up here just to if you find out something shocking or upsetting to perhaps just give yourself a pause and maybe not dive in without considering the consequences you know this the knight of swords comes rushing in he is the fastest knight in the da deck he he dives in regardless he he's his mind is going so fast and he's waving his sword around people are liable to get cut including yourself i am going to pull another clarifier here because we've got a lot telling you that you are finding out a truth but not necessarily what said truth is so let's see if we can if the cards can help us out a little bit here the queen of swords goodness me goodness me look at the progression this is the page the knight and the queen of swords this is cutting out the bs this is the truth this is direct communication yeah you're going to find out something indirectly a truth and you're going to come rushing in and and this this is cutting out this is quite dramatic it's very logical but it's certainly dealing with a truth um this is wow um the only energy next would be the king of course of swords this is swords are thoughts communication ideas the mind um whatever the cards don't seem to be it, it, it is a general read and in general reads it is hard to get super specific but the cards are making this very clear as in a truth is going to be revealed but the cards aren't revealing said truth I, I suppose that's kind of the point this is what's going to be revealed and it will be a truth and for you Scorpio with this being a general read it will be whatever truth is for you um I, and I'm not feeling I'm feeling quite heavy like my throat's closing up a little which is strange because that's that would suggest not being able to communicate and this is all about communication but i think the words are going to perhaps get stuck in your throat i think this is going to be hard to express but you're going to do it because it's going to plunge you whatever you find out it's it's going to plunge you into a very logical head over heart place a very cold emotionless direct way um yeah this, this so uh, again I, and i say this sometimes we get a really positive tarot read in which case we we swan off merrily into the sunset and everything's butterflies and unicorns and roses and fairies and wonderful and then sometimes we don't get a, a read that's necessarily super positive but i always say growth occurs during times of challenge lessons are learned this very much to me feels scorpio like a bit of a heads up from the universe it's not revealing what the truth is but it's revealing there will be a truth revealed and it's kind of prompting you to take a pause to think you know to think and be rational and be logical um And it's about your person leaving it's about your person moving away you know perhaps and and this will be only for a, a small few of you perhaps you will find out that your person has moved on with somebody else on social media which wow um just ugh. why do people do this it it's disgusting you know that people need to have communication and this is what you 
are going to move into. You know, if your person is being shady or cowardly and moving on without really speaking to you and having that truthful, direct, honest, respectful communication, you know, if they don't have the presence of person to do that, well, you do, Scorpio, because, you know, you are going to seek the closure that you require regardless. Um, it's tough and it's challenging, but I'm seeing you, Scorpio, very strong in this. Let's take a look at what needs to be released or forgiven. This is the Princess of Pentacles. So we have another page. Um, princesses, as I said, are represented by pages. Um, this is Prithi, the goddess of fertility, um, the, the personification of the Earth Mother. Um, symbolisms, we've got the cherry blossom, that's a standout. Cherry blossom is beauty and strength and sexuality. So let's get a clarifier because this is interesting. Six of cups. Oh, okay. Six, right. Okay. Yeah, I can see this now. Six of cups is... Uh, the sun in Scorpio so it it's one of your cards it's an emotional connection it's perhaps a past life connection we're talking soulmates twin flames memories nostalgia and this is often a card of children and this is often a card of fertility you know you can see this goddess here is pregnant you might have children with this person and that might, you know, if, if this is a split, which it looks like it possibly is, um, that's obviously complicating the job. That might just again be a few for a few of you. But what I'm seeing here is an emotional connection. What I'm seeing here is deep love based on the connection that you have, the memories that you have. Again, this soulmate, past lives kind of energy. And this Scorpio is what needs to be released. So the Six of Cups is kind of that energy of this is my person. This is my destiny. This is the person that I'm supposed to be with. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here, the card of destiny, divine destiny. And this is what needs to be released. You know... If you or your person feel that this person is your destiny, I'm afraid to say that this is what, again, it's what's come out. It's what I'm reading on the table. This is what the cards are saying is, for now, at least, release the notion that you are supposed to be with this person. Who knows what the future holds? You know, the cards are never a definitive full stop on a situation. Things change, people move on, people grow. As a result of painful situations, as I said, growth occurs during times of challenge. But for now, for your own sanity, Scorpio, you need to release the notion that this person is your person, your destiny, that you're supposed to be with them, if that makes sense. And I understand more than you realize Scorpio how difficult that is and it's not everyone can do it can even do it but you are very logical you are very strong right now it move into us into self-preservation you know for you let's take a look at the energy of your person's intentions moving forward okay mm, ouch yeah, this is the Prince of Wands. Um, mm. The Prince of Wands being, of course, the Knight of Wands. This is represented in this particular artwork by the god Set or Seth, the god of conflict, chaos, fire, trickery and disorder. This, yeah, self-preservation, Scorpio. You know, what I'm seeing here, and this is kind of quite specific, so again, please only take what resonates. Don't try and force it to fit your particular story. If, if, if this particular angle doesn't work for you, it is a general read. Please, you know, take it as it resonates only for you. But what I'm seeing is your person being upset about something. 
whether it was something they did or something you did. Something that they felt went against tradition. Something that was not for the higher good of the stability of long-term success uh, in this connection. And they took a leap of faith and moved on without necessarily really discussing that with you. You found out this information. You came to them demanding closure, demanding explanations, demanding the truth. And the, here's the release of the destiny angle and then their action is drama basically this is fire this is the knight of wands this is somebody who's passion and active and and that obviously can be very good qualities but this is somebody who enjoys attention this is somebody who acts first and thinks later i think there's some drama coming your way um, the Prince of Wands is also, or the, the Knight of Wands also is, is sometimes the player of the tarot. So this could be coming towards you with drama and, you know, the, the wrong kind of attention and impulsiveness, saying things before they think. Um, but it, it could also be them going to others um, and engaging in less than healthy behaviors rebound kind of energy um to cause drama let's take a clarifier we have the ten of cups okay and this is going to prevent what ultimately what your person wants is mars in pisces the ten in cups this togetherness happiness union this blissful relationship but if they behave not like the knight of cups th there's no way there's no way we have two tens here their overall energy and their final energy moving forwards. Um, tens, of course, are endings. They are the end of a cycle, but they are a new beginning. Um, I think you might have to take a step back for now and allow them to... Oof. They're not in a good place. Um, their emotional health is something that's concerning me right now. You know, they're, they're distraught and heartbroken. They're kind of, this is this, no, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to step into my power and, and be confident and live my best life and love myself kind of energy. And in the process that they're trying to hurt you. That's what I'm seeing. Because they are hurt. Um, so Scorpio, I, I, I'm so sorry that I could not give you something more positive today moving into 2020 release the notion that this is your person be logical take a step back and try to avoid this drama here this could be them stepping into a new relationship um just to hurt you essentially it's not they're not you know the, the knight of wands is not very committed let's say um so yeah again i'm sorry i couldn't bring you something more positive today um I, I, it would be lovely if all of the signs could have something super positive moving into this next decade but that's not the way the cards always fall scorpio um do try and have a a lovely holiday season and of course have a lovely new year and hopefully i'll see you really soon